everybody. This is Jake from the Chasing Quality Podcast. Thanks for joining me today. I'm really excited to talk to you about the Lens Baby Composer Pro system that I've got for my Canon M50. Uh, it's got a bunch of cool artsy little lenses, like the one I've got on here right now, which is uh, the double glass. I also have a wide angle adapter on it so I can actually capture my face because at 50 millimeters it would be a little bit hard to, to get much of me in here holding this. Um, this is the older model, uh, or slightly older model. I think they may have actually uh, a model that's even older than this one, but it's not the. This isn't the newest model. But what this is is it's a. It's kind of like an art set. Um, they, they usually come independently. I have, I've happened. I've collected all of these over the last uh, several months, or several weeks, I guess. Um, but uh, you've got this. It's through, right? There's no. There's no actual lens in there. Um, it just. It mounts to your camera. And this is an EF mount. And it allows you to put in an insert. I'll talk about the inserts in a second. It allows you to put the inserts in there. Uh, do manual focus. This is for the manual focus. It's actually a really incredibly smooth, feels really great uh, manual focus. You're actually able to, to tilt this around, which helps you to bend the light and bend the focus a little bit. Uh, so you can get some really cool artsy effects. Keep in mind that I'm not a photographer, uh, at least not very good at it. Um, and I'm not an artist by any means. So I'm not really good at this thing, but I, I thought it was really cool. Uh, so you get this Composer Pro, which mounts your camera, and then you get these different lenses. I happen to have the Sweet 35 lens insert. Let's see if that'll zoom in there. Let's try to catch my face. I don't know if it's going to... There, that's the Sweet 35. Uh, I've got the... This is the, the, uh, this is the double glass, and this is the single glass. Um, the double glass has a really nice uh, center focus point. Uh, and then a, a soft roll off. The single glass tends to have a little bit more of a uh, like a soft, soft focus uh, across the entire image. I mean, it also rolls off the focus, but it's soft. It's kind of like almost like a glamour shot type uh, effect. Sweet 35 um, has just a really, really nice, uh, a nice center focus area, a nice roll off, and it's got adjustable aperture. Let me see if, if I can get that on this. Let's see if I can get this thing to stop focusing on me. Um, it's got a really nice um, manual aperture on there. It goes from 2.5 to 22, and that will actually adjust the amount of, of bokeh. Um, so at 2.5, it's pretty pretty incredible uh, the amount of bokeh you get. At 22, um, you get a somewhat focused image ac across, um, so you don't get a lot of that effect. But what you do is you take the insert. In this case, we're going to take the in lens, the uh, Sweet 35, and put it in here. Uh, if I can line it up here, I got to figure out where it's lined up there. Sorry. Push it in, turn it to the right, and now it's mounted. Now it's mounted, uh, and then you mount this to your camera, and you're good to go. And then you just adjust the focus here. You bend the light a little bit, adjust your aperture, and and, and away you go. Very cool. Uh, the Sweet 35 is a pretty pricey insert. Uh, the optic swap, they call it. Um, very nice, though, uh, because you get the added the, the aperture control. So let me take that back out, if I remember how. Okay, take it back out. Uh, let's put, put in the double glass. The, the, these other ones are a little bit different. You come, it comes with a the, the cap for the container that it comes in. It just kind of keys in there, and you turn it. Oops. I got it off there. Kind of misaligning this thing. We're not breaking it. Okay. okay. That's inserted. That's in there. Uh, what's these? Uh, so the two thirty-five is thirty-five millimeter. Um, these other inserts, at least these two, these, the double glass and single glass, are fifty millimeter. Uh, what's neat about those is you can use a uh, telephoto adapter. This is one point six telephoto, so it turns it into eighty millimeters. Uh, you've got a wide angle adapter for it. Uh, and again, this works for both the single and double glass, and then the other ones that are of the same style. Uh, this is wide angle. This is point, 0 0.6 times wide angle adapter, so that would knock it down to, what, a 30 millimeter? And then there is um, these, there are these macro adapters that you can get, and you can actually stack these. Um, this is a plus 10 macro, and this is a plus 4 macro, and you can stack and get a plus... Um, 14 macro, which I'm not really sure exactly what those numbers do, uh, but then you can get this, um, your minimal focal distance, focus distance ends up being like really super close. So you can get some pretty cool uh, close up macro shots. And you're gonna see this in the images uh, that I show you. 
hopefully I, when I go back and post, I can chop all this up and actually put it into a, an order that makes sense because I'm kind of doing this uh, haphazardly. Uh, so that's really cool. These, um, these macro adapters are neat. Uh, if you're going to use it on the Canon M50, which is how I'm using it, you're going to need an adapter of some sort, uh, an EF to EFM mount adapter. I happen to use the Viltrox um, standard adapter. There's no lens in it, right? It's just standard. It's, it's just reduces it from EF down to EFM. I also have the Viltrox focal reducer, um, which takes an EF mount lens and, and converts it to EFM, but also reduces the focal length by 0.7 times. That also gives you an aperture uh, speed boost. Uh, so it just depends on what I'm going to use this for, uh, because this will help me to convert these lenses into a, a wider angle. Um, in case I, you know, I've actually used this for like um, doing my webcam. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like to use for the webcam specifically. I like to use the 35 millimeter with the uh, focal reducer or one of these 50 millimeters with the focal reducer and the wide angle adapter, uh, the wide angle converter. Uh, that's pretty cool. If you focus it and then, and then it just has, um, what ends up being like a crazy, crazy bokeh in the background. Um, I kind of dig it. I think it's really cool. I don't know if I'm artsy enough to figure out how to, to use it in the best way, but I'm going to, I'm going to try. Um, One thing I should have mentioned about the Sweet 35 is that it does have manual aperture control. Uh, the other ones, the, the other lens inserts don't, like the, the 50 millimeter double glass and 50 millimeter single glass. Uh, those don't have uh, aperture control, so you're pretty much stuck with, uh, and I'll have to look up to see exactly what the aperture is. Uh, with those, you can put in ring inserts. I'm going to play around with that a little bit inside so you can see what those, those uh, aperture ring insert things do. Pretty cool. Uh, but for the Sweet 35, it's got a really nice aperture control right here on the on the front, and uh, so if you want to knock down, if you want to do knock down the effect of the of the of the blurring, the the bokeh, uh, you can see that I just changed it to. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what I changed it to, but you can see that the background kind of uh, comes in focus a little bit better. But if I, yeah, see there we go. I just changed it back to about 2.5. Um, so. Uh, at that, at such a wide aperture, it's really hard to control that blur, and so it's going to depend on what real, you know, what kind of shot you're really trying to get, as far as what you're going to want to set that to, because um, th that that fall off, that blur fall off, is is pretty pretty drastic at, at 2.5. Pretty cool in some cases, but sometimes you really don't want that, so you can adjust it back down. Like I said here, um, that's that's 22. Um, my camera is now auto adjusting the ISO, so that's 22. So there you can actually see, you can actually make out the leaves in the background. Um, my face is actually, my face is now actually kind of blurry. Um, but yeah, so cool. Let's go, uh, let's go inside and uh, maybe try a few other shots of, uh, I don't know, some cool stuff. that's really neat and I'm going to show you hopefully some photos of this I just have to get some stuff set up so I can take some good photos to show you for the for these regular glass optic inserts uh, there is I'm not sure what's in these but there's some sort of um, substance in it that gets it attracted to a magnet inside and I don't know if this is gonna pick it up if I can get the focus inside of here there are these little magnets down down in there and you you put this insert this is a heart. You put this insert down in here, and that functions like an ap uh, it's like an aperture ring, uh, aperture blade, and it affects the 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 shape of the bokeh. So you've got oh gosh, how many are there here? Maybe ten. You've got these ten different. Let me see if I can focus on it. These ten different 
inserts that will change the shape of the bokeh into some pretty sweet shapes. And this is super cool, I like at least, for when I'm sitting at my desk doing webcam sessions with, like I say, for work or something else like that. And if I can darken my room and throw some Christmas lights up in the background and get a really, really awesome bokeh, these, uh, these, these little, I don't know, you call them blades or, or inserts or whatever, uh, they call it a creative aperture kit. Um, they don't actually say what these are technically called, but these little aperture inserts. And it creates these really cool shapes uh, in the background that I find uh, to be a lot of fun. I don't know how much these actually affect the aperture speed, and it doesn't necessarily say in here, so you just have to play around with it. I do know that, it, I mean, if you look at that, you go from like wide open, uh, you go from something like wide open to something like this, you're definitely going to see a speed reduction. So you're going to have to possibly uh, crank up the ISO uh, to compensate for that. So that is, uh, so that's a little lens baby system. This thing is cool. They sell all sorts of different lenses. Um, check out their website, lensbaby.com, I guess. I'll, I'll try to get something up on the screen to tell you what exactly it is. I'm pretty sure it's lensbaby.com. Something I really want is one of their Edge. They've got these, I think it's Edge 50, Edge 80. Those you can get really awesome tilt shift type of images. Um, they've got a burn side, which does all sorts of swirly things. Um, again, my challenge is that I'm not a good photographer. I'm not a good artist. Um, so will I keep this set? I really don't know because I'm afraid I'm going to keep it uh, and just never use it or get the pictures I want because I'm not very good at it. And I don't know if I'm good at taking the time to learn how to get good at it, to be honest. So um, I've, it's something I've got to think about. It's something I've got to think about. Let me go through, ahead and throw a couple of these lenses up here on this, um, on here, so you can see what it would look like if I were using this for a webcam. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so check that out. Check out, uh, check out what I do with this as a webcam. I think this is pretty cool. I don't know what my coworkers think. Honestly, some of these these Zoom meetings, these online meetings that we have for work. Uh, I love the people I work with, but uh, it can be a bit of a a bit of a bear to just sit there at the computer, um, especially when you can't see other people and you don't have the dynamics that you may often have in person. Uh, so I like to spice it up a little bit. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I did put this heart insert in for you, though. Uh, I do love you. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Uh, I love having you along. Um, but yeah, you can see, you know, of course, the the, the the longer the distance between you know the object that's in focus and wherever the light is out of focus, the more pronounced those uh, those little bokeh hearts in this case are going to be. So let me let me turn this out of focus and you see how much how much uh, that's by hand there is, is really what's in focus. Um, so they get bigger. Uh, and then if I zoom back out to where I am, my face they're they're not um, they're not as big, but they're de you, de you can definitely see it. Uh, and and it's it's pretty neat. You can use maybe the bird thing for you know whatever. Um, if you're an artsy kind of person, I wish I were an artsy person because I would love to do a lot more uh, with, you know, things like this, but I just don't know if I've got a good eye for that kind of stuff. Um, it'd be kind of neat to do portraits and you have, maybe you can have your, your subject, uh, you know, up close and then put, I don't know, 10 feet behind your subject, a bunch of these little lights, colorful lights. These are just white Christmas lights, um, but if you got something, um, you know, different, a bunch of different little lights in the background. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Um, and you know where, where this is probably really cool is if you're like a nighttime party where you've got the string lights over top and you've got a bunch of you know candles and all sorts of stuff all over, little light sources, um, and you're taking nighttime photography. That would be really, really neat. So anyway, this is the Lens Baby Composer Pro system. Uh, I've shown you the Sweet 35. I've shown you the double glass, the single glass. Um, and these aperture inserts, uh, it's a pretty cool system. It really is. If you are into artsy type of photography and you don't have one of these, then you're probably missing out. Um, will I keep it? Will I keep it? Will I keep it? Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it. This, um, 
the setup that I've got is about three to five hundred dollars, depending depending on what you um, depending how you do the math and if you get it used and whatnot. Um, it's it's kind of pricey, and I don't know if I can justify keeping it when I'm not a photographer. If I were taking pictures every day, absolutely, I, I, there, I would always find uses for it, but but I don't. Um, if I do end up selling it, I'll be really sad. But I think the um, you know the the I, I just have to be realistic about what I'm actually going to use these lenses for, and uh, whether or not I can afford to keep uh, some of these um, some of these specialty lenses. These, these specialty lenses are super neat, super cool. But um, but the cost, I, you know, I do have to um, I have to have a limit. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed my playing around with the Lens Baby Composer Pro, the double glass, the single glass, and the Sweet Thirty Five inserts, along with the aperture rings. If you're into podcasts, maybe you could check out uh, our podcast, Chasing Quality Podcast. It's on Stitcher, Spotify, um, iTunes, all those major those major podcast platforms. We'd love to have you along for our, our little our little journey into uh, into quality. That'd be really cool. And if you already do listen, uh, you know, thanks for your support and thanks for coming out and checking out this video. I hope that you check out more of my videos as I get them made. And uh, until next time, you keep chasing that quality because you know I will. Bye-bye. <laughs>